Hi there, Danny here from GDL Automotive, uh, talking to you about the Jeep Grand Cherokees once again. Uh, in the last video, we talked about the three liter diesel. This one, we're gonna talk about the V6 petrol version. Uh, this particular engine comes in the Grand Cherokee, but also comes in the Wranglers, and in the Trailhawks, it's spun sideways, but it's, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty similar. Uh, so the only thing that really goes wrong with the V6 petrols is oil leaks. Uh, and it's nearly always only gonna be one problem that's caused the oil leak, and it's this thing here. So this is the oil cooler. Uh, it's got the oil filter housing on the end here. Uh, what usually busts is either the seals between the cooler itself and the housing, or the seals between the housing and the inlet manifold. What ends up happening, I'll show you, Gordon. So this is what you can see of it when it's in the vehicle. The rest of that housing runs along the underside of this inlet manifold. So the inlet manifold has to come off. Uh, to tell if you've got this problem, basically if you've got oil down in here where I'm pointing, uh, you've got a leaking core. However, you gotta be careful. Sometimes uh, your mechanic might've spilt some oil when he does the oil filter change. You wanna make sure that you definitely got the leak. But what happens is it fills up the valley of the V and runs out the back of the engine and down across the bell housing and then drips off the bottom of the gearbox. So a lot of people are doing transmission repair work, thinking that they're chasing a transmission oil leak and they actually only got this oil cooler problem. Pretty much if you've got a Jeep with a V6 um, petrol engine and it's leaking uh, oil, this is what it's gonna be. Thanks, that's Danny from GDL Automotive.